So one of the cool things about this game is that you can save up to a hundred different cities. I mean, that's kind of insane for a console, you know? I, I agree, and in addition to that, I'm surprised with how well the interface translates to the N64. A lot of times when you get games from the console going into, or rather, from the PC onto the console, you get sort of this thing where, like, the mouse and keyboard controls don't translate all that well. Mm -hmm. But I thought they did a really good job of allowing you to just open the menu with Z and get through the menus pretty easily. My only complaint is that the scrolling can kind of be a little bit imprecise with the analog stick. Yeah. So as you can see, we have this city in progress complete with thousands of abandoned buildings. <laughs> hey, we, it's Detroit. We're home. Aww. So here's a character we call Dr. Japan. Uh, he's, I think he's supposed to be like the financial advisor, but it's a little bit difficult to understand what he's saying because it's all in Japanese. I'm assuming he's telling me to wreak havoc around the countryside, so... Oh man, he wants me to beat some punks up, I think. Okay, okay, I could see that, I could see that. Maybe another uh, police station. It's an order. Alright, let's look for that punk. What, you can walk around on the city? Yeah, well, that's one of the new things about this version of the game. Before this game, you couldn't do any street-level wandering. You couldn't talk to any of the locals in the street. And all of the uh, characters, as well as all of the vehicles, have their own AI, which is kind of neat. Also, you can view the city at night, which previously, in other SimCities, you couldn't do. Mm hmm This is crazy. Can you talk to that dog? Ooh. Yeah, talk to the dog. <laughs> talks. Well then. Yep, it's Japanese. Um, a lot of people and a lot of reviews that I've seen have lambasted the 3D graphics engine of the street level perspective of this game, which personally, I don't really understand. I don't really get it either. I mean, no. These are not the most amazingly detailed buildings that I've seen in my life. But at the same time, when you consider the variety of structures they included in the game, the amount of draw distance you have when compared to Doshin, where your field of vision ends at your belly button, <laughs> and the smoothness with which the engine runs, it's really not all that unimpressive at all. Yeah, you know, if you go into a street-level view of this game, and you're like, oh man, this doesn't look as good as Perfect Dark, well guess what? Do you have a hundred saves in Perfect Dark? You don't. It's also a very different type of game. You sort of go into this game with sort of a different goal. I mean, Perfect Dark is very everything shoved right into your face because it's a first-person shooter. Mm -hmm. This is emulating a city, and Maxis has always sort of had a bit of a more cartoony thing. I mean, it, it's like judging a piece of art because it was made by the wrong person. Yeah. Not whether or not it's actually representative of what it should be. If you've played SimCity before, or if you have a basic understanding of shapes, uh, you can kind of figure out the menu. For example, this is power, electrical lines, uh, houses, kind of more urban development, commerce, etc. At the same time, though, the information menus are not terribly good. Like, if I open up the budget, I can't really tell what any of these parameters are, but I can tell that we're losing a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, oh my. not so good at this game. <laughs> it's very hard to play a game in a non-native language. So our city has turned into a bit of a dump. Lots of abandoned buildings, and uh, we're losing money really bad. So yeah. we're going to try and cover up our errors. John, can you uh, enter the disaster engine? Okay. Whoa! That doesn't look healthy. <laughs> okay, okay. Which one isn't fire? Upper right. And just in case there's anybody left, there's anybody left in this great city of ours. Volcano. Volcano. Yeah. Doot doot, <laughs> taking a stroll in my little city. <laughs> Just going out for a nice big walk. Having fun. I'm gonna go ahead and give SimCity an 8 because it doesn't have all the features of your average SimCity, but here's the thing. 
it added a lot of features we haven't seen on any of the others. So that's pretty cool. But Doshin with his like crazy walking and stuff like that, I don't know. He earned a special place in my heart and a rating that can only be demonstrated as this. Very good, sir. Hey, a special shout out to Zorgon. Zorgon sent us the majority of these games out of the kindness of his heart because he got them on eBay for his birthday, I believe. Sent them to complete internet strangers because he wanted to see a review of them, and that is fucking awesome. So, thank you so much, sir. Um, we are going to take good care of them forever. For it's I'm going so to spend them on Matt. Yeah, he is. On your glasses, like PlayStation wants you to. This drive is magnetic. Fuck, how does it work? I don't know. I don't know.